Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Crash Bandicoot 100% and now we're gonna start off into the generator room and this is going to be one fuck up of level. I don't know if, I don't remember if this actually has a box gym or not. Now, here's a theory that I heard, I don't know if it's exactly true as well. I kept hearing for a while that if you run away from the boxes when they're about to explode, if you get too far, the game won't count them as they've blown up. So. Some people like to say that if you wait for them to blow up and then take off, you should be good. But, like I said before, I've never really seen that theory 100% proved in action. As far as I'm concerned, I've always run away from the boxes regardless, so it's not really a big deal to me. Now this section here, um, if you stand on this for too long, it will eventually fall down. As you can tell, they give you plenty of time to break all the boxes, and there it goes. Yep, see, there you go. I think it's gone for good. Unfortunately, we can't get... Well, actually, the boxes won't fall down and break with it, which is kind of strange, but then again, the boxes in this game kind of tend to stay up and float. Some people call it crates. I call it boxes. Same damn thing. Well, I kind of just switched between the two, I guess. But for the most part, it's basically... Like I said, it's mostly, mostly the same damn thing. I mean, yes, they are literally crates, but fuck you. This is my Let's Play, and I will do exactly what I do as I see fit. Now, the good thing is, when you get the Tana bonus stuff, if you finish it, the Tana icons will disappear when you come back to level, which I'm sure you guys have probably already noticed anyway. And I know I'm probably pissed off a lot of OCD people right there with missing that one box, but we don't need that one box, guys. We don't need all the Wumpa fruit. I'm sure there's a lot of kleptomaniacs out there who are probably screaming in their seats right now, saying, come on, Alex, get that one fucking box. Well, it's too late now. It's gone. It's gone forever. Tana's gone forever. And why do I... Why do I always do that, though? Why do I always bring up information that's already been proven and shown, like, ten episodes later in a game? It's like, I, I really need to stop doing that. Well, then again, like I said, it... Yeah, this is... You know, I'm starting to feel like Etika, basically. You know how, like, Etika says he's not, ne he's not news? He's not a news channel, but then yet he does news stuff. It's like, they always have that Lenny face where it's like... You know, I'm not a news channel. Well, it's the same thing with like with me. It's like I'm not an information or I'm not an informational let's play channel by any means. Or this, this is not going to be an informational Crash Bandicoot run. This is just more of a just a run, just a run through. I'm not going to explain anything. You guys should know how to play Crash already. And here I am fucking explaining everything in sight. This jump right here is a pain in my ass. I always have a, I always have trouble making that one for some reason. Why did I do that? I'll tell you why I, I did that, because I thought there was something over there I could jump to. And my mind directed myself towards it. Now, the generator room isn't a bad level. I actually like this level for, you know, just kind of the challenge it gives you, really. But at the same time, I remember having so much trouble with this level when I first started. Oh god, when I, start, when I first started trying to 100% the game. Just because of all these damn platforms. If anything, my least favorite level, if I had to be honest, it isn't even, it's not any of the bridge levels. I'm sure a lot of people are probably like, why? why? Why don't you hate the bridge levels? Well, there's really nothing to hate on the bridge levels. Besides, of course, you know, the slippery platform that it has and all those damn, you know, tr you know, pitfalls you can fall into. That's that's generally why people don't like those ones, but I actually like them. Mainly because of, of the design choice they went for. It's always, it's very memorable. And that's the thing about Crash Bandicoot to me is like, it's very, very memorable. Now, you... These jumps, fortunately, are pretty easy to make, so I'm not really worried about these ones. Just worried about the ones that have the damn spike balls floating around them. Especially if I don't have an Aku Aku mask. Like this right here. I, I try to be as patient as possible on these, except for that one. Because I, I tend to think that I can make that. And Well, the game decides to prove me wrong, pretty much. Alright, here we go. And takes care of that. Let's keep going down our way. Alright, and oh! Shit. Oh god, I gotta be a little bit more careful with what I'm doing. I gotta be a little bit more patient. Need to be more patient. I say that, but I don't do it, because that's me for you. In a nutshell. But then again, that's just how I play games. It's like, I'm not a very patient person, so... Fuck it, who cares? Alrighty, so far, so good. Gotta make this jump very safely. Fortunately, they give us plenty of time to make that jump. They're not, they're not gonna fuck you over. I mean, that's the thing about this game. Like, this game's not gonna fuck you over by any means. Now, if you're wondering how do I get those damn, like, middle boxes so well and easily, you kind of have to limp your jump a little bit. And I say limp as in, like, just, you gotta barely jump to be able to get those. This is gonna become, 
this is gonna be a little bit scary for me mainly because of these these death death defying <laughs> jumps I'm gonna have to make these right here are not a problem it's just the ones that are on fire are the problem this that one right there that could be a problem too because that can mess you up if you you know if you get hit while you're on it, you're gonna fall off and die and there we go that takes care of the generator like I said it's a decently easy level once you kind of have the timing down for the levels of course which you know, as they say, practice makes perfect. And as you can tell, clearly on the top of the right, uh, top right of the screen there, I'm perfect. So you know, there's no need to worry about me though. That gym I can take and showed up your ass. Uh, ooh, that about went somewhere far. Um, I can take that gym and go back to another level. I'm trying to remember what level it was. It's one of the creek levels. Fuck. Is it up the creek? Maybe. Well, you know, I'm probably not gonna go back until I get you know all these levels at least kind of out of the way. I think if we beat this level, I think we get a blue gem. If I think Talks Away gives me a blue gem. This one to me is a little bit more iconic than a lot of other ones. I just don't know why. I, For some reason, I like this level a lot, and I don't get why, even though I have trouble playing it. This level will have Tana tokens in it, so if you want some Tana tokens, go ahead and take your chance now. You know what? I might as well just like help you guys with this. I mean, fuck. I already, I've been doing and giving information away anyway, so might as well just... Might as well just make this like any other regular Let's Play. It's just it's just a re Let's Play. Because let's be honest, like I even did I even explain anything in my my you know previous Let's Play anyway. And no one's gonna go back and watch that and see how much I've changed. No one's gonna do that. Trust me, you guys are not gonna do that. I don't expect you guys to do that. I'm not gonna make you guys do that. You guys have your own free will and you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's like when people tell me, like, why don't you uh, tell people to sub your channel? That's why you don't have subs. That's why you don't have likes. No, I'm getting my subs because of people wanting to subscribe to me because they want to. Not because I tell them to. And of course, I'm sure... Oh, fuck me. That kind of scared me a little bit. I'm sure there's somebody out there who's probably like, Well, come on, Alex. You know, just fucking... Just ask for subs. If you ask for subs or ask for likes or comments, you'll get them. I assure you most of the time. No, that I think is stupid. The reason why I think that's stupid is because you people are watching this already anyway. And, you know, you guys are already deciding whether or not you want to like it. Hell, I don't need likes. Why do I need likes? If anything, views are the more... To me, views are still kind of important in a, in a sense because it kind of shows me that people are actually watching the video. And it shows that the video is actually getting some retention to it. But... When it comes to like likes and stuff, it doesn't really exactly prove anything at all. It's just like, oh, this one person liked it, but it could be anybody that I know already. And that's the thing. It's like, it could be somebody that I know. Not necessarily somebody that I don't know on the internet. Alrighty. I, I, and also comments are pretty nice too, but it depends on the comment. I usually end up getting pretty nice comments. Sometimes I get, you know, very opinionated comments, but... By that, I mean, like, people are like, you know, they don't exactly say that my opinion sucks about something. They kind of just question my opinion about stuff. It's like, well, my opinion is my opinion. Your opinion is yours. You know, you like this, you like that. It's whatever. It's no big deal. I know, it's funny because I don't want to bring this up, even though I brought up, you know, the feminist, you know, PC culture before. But it's funny how, like, a lot of, like, SJWs are just, you know, equal rights people in general are, like, always saying, like, you know, well, you know, we're for equal rights and all this other stuff and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you, you can do what you want to do, but you can't do this particularly. And that's that's what I find stupid. It's like people are like, well, I'm for equal rights, but I, I don't like the way that people offend other people. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Look, I get offended too, okay? By offended, I mean like if somebody pisses me off, I'm going to get offended. That's my offended. Or if somebody talks about, you know, there are certain things that, that will... I hate this word. I hate the word triggered. I don't want to say it either. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to make myself not say it because it's so fucking cringy now. But it's like, there's certain things that definitely would kind of piss me off if you talk about it or if you try to mess with me about it. Of course, everybody has that. But I feel as if this culture is probably taking a little too far now. And I mean, 2016 was a pretty shitty year when it came to like, you know, the whole PC culture thing going on. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that 2017 will probably more likely be a better year. God damn it. I can't, I can't seem to figure out the depth perception of that, and that pisses me off so much. Like, the game, okay, by the way, if you hear me hating on the game, it's probably because I'm pissed. That's probably why. But I gotta be honest, the depth perception is a little bit weird on those, 
Not the rolling ones, but the ones that they throw like that. The ones that bounce. I can never figure out where it's going to land. You could probably say, like, well, Alex, you we were talking about memorization earlier. Why don't you just use that to your advantage? Well, yeah. I could, but I'm retarded. <laughs> don't forget that. As my brother says, one of my brothers says, I basically have Down Syndrome. So, I have Down Syndrome. I can't seem to figure out exactly what the fuck to do. Good thing is, we got the bonus stage out of the way, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I love that suit, by the way. Definitely want one. Oh, that suit's actually pretty cool looking. I wonder if that pink is supposed to be pink or it's just like a, a lighting effect. Like, is it supposed to be white? I don't fucking know. Every time I think about white, like, gimp suits or whatever you want to call them, I always think about Deadhead Fred. Because I just like this white pimp suit that you get. And it's fu I call it a pimp suit. It's fucking awesome. Need to play the game again. Really need to play the game again. But I just need to find a copy of it, though. Which, actually, I think I remember finding a copy of, like, a non... I found it like a, a disc copy, but not, you know, the one in the case. If anything, a small little trick I guess I can tell you guys to do when you're running away from those bouncing barrels is just kind of run back until you feel like you're safe enough to run forward. Or if anything, if you want to be a little bit, uh, you know, tricky with your, with your moves, you could always just easily, well, you can always try to, like, jump to the side and try to avoid them that way. I don't recommend that, but I, I, I'd rather just do the, um, the running back method instead. This one, you're gonna have to jump past. You're gonna have to jump past, uh, jump around that, actually, I, I should say. Those, you're gonna jump around. Those are a bitch to get across. <laughs> but I don't recommend jumping around on, you know, those platforms where you go up. Because, as you know, if you were to jump in real life, you probably wouldn't make it back up there. We even got the fucking blue gym. Nice. Only problem is, well, I'm so far in the game, like, I'm so far in the level-wise... I don't really want to go back anymore because I'm starting to forget exactly what levels have what. Because there's purple, there's blue, there's fucking... I got the gold gem now, I don't have the purple one. I got the green one. I think all the green levels are, I think, I believe are done. Um, maybe it wasn't power and generate... Uh, what the fuck was I thinking of then? There was a level. I don't remember where it was. It might have been in toxic, not toxic waste. It might have been in, uh... The fuck was it? The first one we came to. The first level on this, uh, on this island. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Not power generator, but was it Cortex Power? No, not Cortex Power. It's, uh... God damn it. Oh, Heavy Machinery. No. Piss. I don't know. It's a one. It's one of these ones where you can, like, get it... If you got the green gym, you can take the green gym up and you get, like, a whole bunch of lives. And I think it's... It should be one of the earlier levels on this island. Now, I got a theory. I don't know if it's correct. I don't know if it's true or not. Because whenever you fight a boss, they automatically give you two Aku Akus. Just in case. And I'm starting to think that maybe, if possible, I could fight the boss again, an easier boss, like Papu Papu, get two free Aku Aku masks, and then continue on the levels that way. That's a possibility, maybe. Thing is, I want to say about Pinstripe, even though he's not really, you know, a cool looking boss, or really, you know, you know, really a hard boss, for some reason, I always consider him my favorite boss, and I don't know the fuck why. My favorite boss, I mean, on Crash-wise. When, when it comes to Crash 1, definitely. But, like, for some reason, I have, like, this weird fascination with this boss fight for some strange reason. I don't know. It might just be the gun. Who knows? It might just be the way that you have to take cover or just might be its overall design. I, For some reason, I'm fascinated with the guy in terms of boss-wise. He's just so cool. He's kind of out there, out of place, you know? For Crash, for, for platforming reasons. Like, he's got a fucking gun. I mean, he's he's going legit hardball. Thing is, I think we... Well, we definitely need the red gem, but I wonder where we get the red gem in. I don't remember. Oh, duh. Slippery Climb. Why would I forget that? Why would I ever forget Slippery Climb? I don't know why. Now, keep in mind, on the high road, you might want to run back. That one is a little bit... That's one of those ones... That's one of the one secrets that you can't really... You kind of have to move back a little bit to check on. And, you know, I definitely recommend kind of, you know, going back in directions... Especially on these 3D sides. Always try to check behind you. I mean, just make sure. Don't check too far behind you and then fall off the map. But try to, you know, always keep an eye out on, you know, certain things that look a little bit suspicious. And if you can go behind you, check. Check behind you to make sure if, you know, there is something back there. Because you never know. This is a Crash Bandicoot we're talking about. So it's definitely a possibility. Now, you. And there we go. All right. So we landed perfectly on those. Just fine. Fine and dandy. There we go. Got the 
Got the last or first Tana token. That's good so far. These guys. Ah, oh, fuck him. I don't need him anymore. I don't want him anymore. I'm just gonna go across. This guy, I think I have to jump across on, because. Yeah, because there's no platform there except for the turtle, which, oddly enough, why the hell does he get to stand on these and I can't? That's why I want to know. He gets to walk on them for fuck's sake. That's why I don't get. Okay, so we got still got one more to go. Yeah, the thing is, again with timing, I always bring this up. But those turtles, oh god, you gotta make sure you hit those turtles, turtles on the right spot, or you're gonna get your your jump's gonna get gimped pretty hard. I think so. If anything, if you feel like you're a little scared to make the to make the jump, like if you feel like something bad might happen, then I definitely recommend that you take the ropes. The good thing is, if there's a turtle on the ground like that, like he was earlier, then you actually are allowed to walk on it. So. Oh, fuck. Yeah, don't forget about that box up there. I almost did. Well, I, I knew that... I saw the life, and I thought that it might have just been, like, just a life. I didn't realize it was a box until I jumped up there and got it. Good thing I took the time to do that, or I would have got fucked. Like I said, some boxes you have to jump onto, but in the off chance that you can see it, which usually you can, you'll be fine. But, I mean, I don't think they'll throw boxes out of your way unless... Of course, it's like the one earlier. Like, you kind of have to just be like, okay... There it is. But then again, you know, the reason why I found that in the first place is because when I beat the level, I started over. I had to start over. I was like, what the fuck you mean I'm missing boxes? So eventually I was like, okay, I'm going to expand my, my field of view here and look behind me and see if they're back there. What do you know? There's four back there and I'm like, that's it. And just stuck in my head ever since. Basically, the game doesn't really teach you anything at all. And that's what I like about these old games too. They don't teach you shit. You kind of have to learn stuff on your own, which... I mean, some people are probably like, well, that's fucking gay. I mean, what? What? Oh, motherfucker. Well, we got the Taunt token, so we got that out of the way. Don't have to worry about breaking our pace. Well, basically, it's like, you know, with, uh, some people nowadays, they kind of are so stuck on needing assistance in games for some reason. Like, hell, I'm starting to... I used to have aim assist on, I'm gonna be honest, I used to have aim assist on, like Call of Duty and stuff, just because I fucking suck at shooting games. And then eventually I started getting pretty good, and I was like, well, I'm pretty good, but then I realized, wait a minute, I got aim assist on. What if I take aim assist off? And it's like, wow, you know, this is my real skill now, I'm actually getting better at this game. And that works, I think. Like, I, I don't know, like, games typically offer you, you know, tutorials and stuff, which, I mean, well, na well games nowadays, you know, they kind of need to give you advice on controls I think I think they just need to tell you the controls not exactly not exactly hold your hand and show you what the fuck to do you know that that's one thing that kind of bothers me nowadays like games just kind of just hold your hand too and not all of them but there are some of them I mean I can't really exactly off the top of my head name one particularly but for the most part it feels like players nowadays need their hand held, you know? It's like they need to be told how to play through a game. And it's just like, no, not all players. I would say, if anything, it's a, it's a complete minority of players, if anything. Because most of us gamers out there, or players, or just casual players, can pretty much learn shit on our own just fine. But there's some, you know, YouTubers out there who apparently need fucking help with how to play a fucking game constantly. Not gonna name any. But I'm pretty sure we all know exactly what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about. But then again, you know, they're probably going to be... Well, if I ever actually get popular, which won't happen. But it, it would be funny if I ever do, and then they start talking shit on me. It's like, well... Granted, I was talking shit on you guys, so... I mean... Kind of makes sense for you to talk shit on me, though. And here we go. We're going to start this shit all over again, which is lovely. But I'm really getting tired of these goddamn hogs. And yes, I know, I've heard the joke before about fucking the hogs. Yes, I mean, not fucking, well, yeah, literally fucking the hogs. Like, whenever, like, you know when you play a whole hog or whatever and Crash kind of gets you that look? You know, he kind of raises his eyebrows like that? Yeah, I know, people are making jokes like he's gonna rape that hog or whatever. It's like, no, he's not. He's wink he's raising his eyebrows because he's showing you that he's got a good idea. He's like, you know what, I got an idea. Well, that's how I view it, though. I mean, of course, people, you know, like to take everything sexual, but... Oh well. You know, that's the thing too, like comedy I think is really just more subjective. Extremely subjective. Oh, I did that on purpose, didn't I? Fuck. See, that's what happens. You try to... I try to go out of my way 
to get on the rope and then I end up just screwing myself over like completely. I'm getting really tired. What the fuck's up with me? And now I gotta go freaking... It's like apparently I think my debit card might have expired, which I gotta go turn that in now. Fucking A. Don't wanna do that. I don't wanna use my credit card to buy anything with because my credit card's bills due a couple days from now and I'm pretty much good to go. I have nothing on it, so paid everything off. I don't wanna fucking put more stuff on it. So I kinda wanna go get me a snack, but I'm not really hungry or thirsty. It's just one of those Addictive tendencies I seem to have, apparently. And now you. There we go. I need to start using these turtles more often. And again, I need to start listening to my own vice. Considering the fact of using platform or being patient. And platforming correctly. Okay, hang on. I got this. I don't think they actually come back up, though. And I'm not going to say that because they probably would. He probably would come back up. It's like fucking Koopa. It's like Koopa, for fuck's sake. Problem is, I have to keep leaving to the map and coming back because even though you could backtrack to get your stuff, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to worry about that. I mean, you could use the rope and backtrack, but no, fuck that. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go on ahead and go. Alrighty. There we go. Finally taking care of that shit. And onward and outward. Alrighty, I'll loop, I'll loop. Oh, shit. I about fell down to that one. Oof. And oh god, okay. Well, so far so good. We're safe. Yeah, like I was talking about earlier about like you know asking for likes and comments and stuff. It's like I've seen, I see a lot of YouTubers do that, and it's just like they're already subbed to you. If they like the video already, they're gonna fucking like the video. Like they're probably gonna let you know. I don't know. Like, is it is it some kind of weird thing? Like people just kind of just follow blindly to what they what they're told. I guess. I mean, granted, you know, I'll like. If anything, I'll usually end up liking animations or something, like a video that I actually truly like. Not because, you know, the fucking YouTuber told me to like it, just because I decided to. Granted, there are times where they tell me to like it, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it. You know, it's like, well, at the end of the video, it's like, like and subscribe, and it's like, well, I say that you want me to subscribe, so... I mean, I, I would if I enjoy your content. That, that's what I see. Like, if you enjoy my content... And, of course, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people will probably have a hatred towards me by now. They probably think I'm a, you know, complete hypocrite and a complete asshole. Well, that's your own thing. But, what the fuck? Hold on, I got this. I gotta get this fucking box. The thing is, just remember that, you know, I, I do my thing, you do your thing, that's good. I'm not gonna ask for any of that stupid shit. Because I feel like you people can pretty much figure things out for yourselves. Like, I've gained subs over the years. And I never asked. Well, I'm... Actually, no, I'll take that back. I have asked. I think in a few videos before, but it's just something that I don't want to say. Like, it makes me feel like a douche, <laughs> for one. And I know there's people out there who are probably like, Well, it doesn't, make you, it doesn't make you a douche. It's okay. You can do it. It's like, no, I fucking can't, okay? It makes me feel like a complete asshole. I'm sure someone's going to take my wording out of context. And they're going to use it against me. And they're going to be like, Well, you said this and that. And it's like, fuck you. Just leave me alone. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just getting on my own self here. <laughs> That's typically what it is. I usually just beat myself down, if anything. Now, since I have the... Oh, motherfucker. Since I have um, the blue gym, we can go back to What's-It's-Nuts, Cortex Power, and get that one out of the way. Or I can just not do that. You know what? I got seven minutes. I, I got some time left. We'll try it out. I'll try to get the gym for Cortex Power. We'll see what happens. It's funny, like, this isn't the only level with a cutscene that I'm aware of. But I think it was, like, one of the first levels with a cutscene. Well, level-wise, I mean, like, you actually platforming, not just fighting a boss. Oh bosses tend to have, like, you know, those little, those little intermissions, I, I should say. Now, here's the thing. If... I'm probably going to get this all mixed up, but I'd recommend try following my lead. As best you can, because there's a certain spot that once you get to, it's it's best to kind of go back. I saw that coming from a mile away. Ugh. Granted, I could just go back from here and start over that way, but then again, son of a bitch, this is this is going to be the one pain in the ass. Like I'm, I get so lost in this level all the fucking time because I don't know what the you know, preferred way to go is. I always just go right just because it's kind of a kind of a psychological thing with me. Like, I'm so used to going to right in video games all the time. 
And usually they put, you know, explorative stuff on the left side, which I've noticed in recent games. Well, not even just recent games, but even older games, too. Let's see what's on the left side first. See, because there's... There's nothing down there for a bit, but there, there's something down there, actually. I should tell you that. There is something down there. It's just, I'm going to go to this fork in the road, and I'm going to turn around and go back left that way. That's what I always do. I always make sure I get to the, f the fork in the road, and then I turn around. alley -oop. See, because there's a fork right there. Well, there's a fork right here, but this one's a dead end, and I know that for a fact. You can actually run to the second, uh, second cylinder thing right there if you wanted to. Break that. Got the exclamation uh, crate. We got the steel crate, whatever you want to call it. And head over this way. Take the fork. Take the left. And now we're going to head across. And I'm going to break some boxes. And I'm going to break some boxes. I think this actually leads to another fork, doesn't it? Yeah. So I think there's actually a fork on both sides. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking A. I think there's two boxes here. That... Yeah, because there's the life there. There's this faggot. He's not really much of a problem. Yeah, see, because... There's nothing! There's nothing back here besides a life. That you break with the exclamation mark anyway. So what the fuck's the point? Unless you go that way and you completely... Well, then what would be the point of the steel crate, then? Let's just pretend for a second that if you actually went that way, if you went left first, and you broke that box, then what would be the point of going to the right and getting an exclamation mark besides... Well, exclamation, uh, steel crate. Besides the simple fact of, well, I need to get the other boxes with it, too. I don't recommend... Yeah, don't break those boxes just yet, because we're going to probably come back, more than likely. I'm trying to hit this fork in the road so I can get this out of the way. Even though I could easily just come back to it. Oh, it's right there, too, so I'm just going to... just going to head back, and I'm going to come back a, a, just a tad bit here. Okay, make that jump. There we go. At least this one doesn't move, so we're fine. Just gotta make these small jumps. Gotta be careful of those. Um, come right here, and I'm gonna... That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. Hopefully that blows it all up. If not, I can go back around and take care of it that way. Oh, it does. Okay, and it hurts me too. Well, motherfucker. Okay, here comes the bad... Here comes the big bad boys. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is gonna become a problem. It's more of... I, I keep... I felt like a fucking broken record. I know I do. It's... This one literally is memorization. You kind of have to just remember, like, where you've been and where you're going to. Just kind of keep an eye out for the forks on the road, and you should be fine. Just be really wary of enemies. And be really wary of those... Those kinds of jumps. They allow you to go back. But it's still painful. Mm, I hate that one. I hate that one so much. Because I, I knew one of them was different. One of them shoots in a different way. Or it shoots at a different time, I think. Oh, fuck you. You've got to be kidding me, dude. No. Uh, if anything, I, I can actually just take the... If, fuck. I might as well take the blue gem path backward. And not worry about that then. Well, anyway, I guess let's end off this episode then. Because there's really nothing else to do. We will finish this level. It's not hard. Just need a fucking Aku mask and I should be good. If anything, you can, you can go grind for Aku mask. You can go get some. Well, if anything, the next gem we gotta go get would either be, more than likely, I guess, Cortex Power. We still gotta go back to... Do, 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 do. Still gotta go back to Boulder Dash, because that, that's Purple Gem. Road to Nowhere needs red, which is Slippery Climb. Purple Gem is... Oh, God damn it! Where the fuck is it? Native Fortress, I think, is... Red Gem? And the first one, I think, is, um, yeah, I think, uh, the Great Gate, I think, is a gold or yellow. Probably yellow. I think it's yellow. And I think, uh, upstream is gold. So we're gonna use the gold gem there. And then Rolling Stones. Is Rolling, t Rolling Stones is blue, so we gotta go back there, too. Okay, so next time, I guess we'll go ahead and try to finish off some extra levels and get some extra gems. I'm surprised I got most of the levels I hate out of the way. That's good. All right, folks, without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time when we play some more Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation 1, 100%. And as always, take care, everybody.